Habari Kani Tribe, I hope you're hungry because we're headed to Kilimanjaro for an early dinner. Okay, so I'm having an early dinner at Kilimanjaro. Um, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. The balcony is open and there's glass windows so you're able to see over the balcony and peer at Nairobi City. Um, I ordered the camel milk tea hot and I'm nervous about it. I think that it's really going to destroy my stomach but I'm giving it a try. I ordered chicken curry and instead of white rice, I substituted it for biryani rice because I am in love with that rice. And I added a slice of naan bread because what gets more Indian than naan bread? I ordered the camel milk tea and at first I thought it was just like a really cool name, but no, the milk is actually from the camel. thing to see when you're in a restaurant in Kenya because it means that food's about to come. The curry chicken has the perfect amount of spice and the naan bread is really fluffy and light just the way that I like it. <gasps> MIT has arrived! Okay, so we got it right this time. So my tea has finally arrived and I'm about to give it a try. Something about it coming from a camel and not from a cow is really making me nervous right now. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so it has added sugar, so it's sweet, but. It's odd aftertaste in your mouth, but um, it's tolerable. I can handle it. Would I order this again? No. But will I finish it? Yes. So, I know I confidently said that I could, but I definitely didn't finish that tea, y'all. Besides that, Kilimanjaro was lovely. And now I'm on my way to my next destination. So after a really nice lunch at Kilimanjaro, I am now wasting shillings at Ngala Fruit Market. Let me show you around. This has got to be one of the prettiest markets I've ever been to. There's fresh fruits, 
there's beans, there's rice, there's maize, and it's GMO free, pesticide free, and organic. Check out this ugly little starch. It's called induma, or arrowroot in English. It has an ugly exterior, but it's pretty beautiful on the inside. It has a rich purple color, and it's used to make porridge, potato chips, cakes, stews, and numerous other things. And how could I go to the market and not buy fresh maize? You remember the cuckoo that grandma gave me? I didn't have the heart to cook it, so now I'm keeping it as a pet. If by some chance you missed that video or you weren't able to see it, I'll be sure to add it in the description below. I had a long but awesome day at Angara Market in Kilimanjaro, but it seems like I've purchased more than these arms can carry. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then go ahead and make that red button bright. If you found this video entertaining and you'd like to see more, then give it one big thumbs up. And if you'd like your friends and family to see my adventures, then go ahead and share. Until the next Adventure Tribe, Quahiri.